Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Jurassic World Chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. This review will round out our look at the Hasbro Jurassic World dinosaur lineup for the time being. Tomorrow we will be shifting our focus to my 1993 Jurassic Park dinosaur toys. And next week we will be shifting focus yet again to uh, Star Wars Black series. I have a couple of the new three and three quarter inch uh, figures I'd like to take a look at as well as some six inch Star Wars Black series. And then we have some more DC collectibles uh, Batman figures to get through as well. Alright so let's get right to it with our chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now I wasn't initially planning on picking this one up especially considering the fact that the Stomp and Strike uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming out later this fall and it's going to be a larger T-Rex that's supposed to be in scale with the Bad Boy and Dominus Rex that we looked at previously. Um, but after looking at it a little bit more and realizing that, you know, it's actually quite nice, I decided to go ahead and go back and get it. You can get it at Walmart uh, for just shy of $16 or at Toys R Us, Target, or Kmart uh, for $19.99. Packaging, as you can see here, follows the same formula of the Hasbro Jurassic World dinosaur toy line. The back of the box gives us a look at the figure and it says, the earth shakes with the menacing rumble. Hold your breath and whatever you do, don't move. The powerful T-Rex is back. And I'm sure we're all really looking forward to seeing Tyrannosaurus Rex back in action in Jurassic World. Now there does seem to be uh, two variations of this figure. Um, this is the second variation and uh, the way you can tell it apart is the way that the tail is situated in the box. Uh, the initial ones came with the tail uh, facing, kind of curving upwards, um, you know, so where the, uh, the point of the tail was curving up toward the dinosaur. Um, the second variation has the tail situated so that it's uh, pointing sideways toward the, uh, to the box, toward the dinosaur's left. And uh, the other difference um, is that, uh, from what I've seen in stores anyway, by looking at them and comparing them, is that there's a little bit more paint detail on the face. It's a little bit uh, more nice looking. It's a little bit deeper in coloring. Um, it's not a huge difference. If you saw them in person, you know, you'd really have to look at them to, to notice the difference, but uh, you know, it's certainly there. And uh, reportedly, the uh, the jaw action here is also a little bit better. It has a better hinge to where it closes back. It springs back and forth a little bit better. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go and get our Tyrannosaurus out of the packaging, and when we come back, we will take a closer look at the chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, you guys, and here's our Tyrannosaurus out of the box. Uh, as you can see, it is in two pieces. Uh, we have our tail piece right here that we uh, need to attach, and it looks just like a little, uh, you know, kind of double prong sort of thing in the back. You can see where it connects. Uh, I suppose, let's see, it wouldn't go like that. Would go like this. That looks like that looks correct. So let's go ahead and get this in there. And voila, it snapped in place. And that's as easy as it is to get it assembled. Alright, you guys, so here's our Tyrannosaurus outside of the packaging and assembled. Um, my first impression here is that this actually looks really nice. You wouldn't really be able to tell it from seeing it inside the box, but it actually looks really nice. The proportions of it look to be quite accurate. The physique is very nicely done. Uh, sculpting looks to be pretty nicely done. The one might argue that it's not quite as detailed as we might hope, but uh, you know, I certainly think it looks really good. Dinosaur has a very nice uh, looking head. I think Hasbro certainly did a pretty good job with the sculpt work of it, and uh, the coloring of it looks pretty good. I only wish that the coloring carried through all the way down the body, because uh, you know, most of the detail is certainly there in the head area. Another thing you will notice with this one is that there are no screw holes to be found anywhere in her body, which is amazing considering the fact that um, pretty much uh, all of the Jurassic World uh, dinosaur figures uh, have screw holes other than the, uh, the Titan Velociraptors that we looked at uh, as part of the Target exclusive Raptor Squad set. But this one does not, and for it, I think she looks really, really good. Uh, the sculpt kind of just makes it look like she's, you know, strolling along um, really nice sculpt. I'm actually really pleased uh, with the way that this looks, especially considering the fact that I wasn't going to be getting it. Uh, I really am glad that I did. I think from all angles, really, this looks really good. Uh, it just looks like she's kind of doing her own thing, and um, the movement and uh, curvature of the tail is quite natural looking. I really like the way that they pose this one. 
All right, you guys, and here's a close-up of the head of our Tyrannosaurus. Um, again, I think Hasbro did a really nice job with it. I think the most unsightly thing here is the fact that the jaw is hinged uh, because of the action feature that I will show you in just a moment. So it's a separate piece. I think it would obviously would have looked a lot nicer if they wouldn't have done that. Um, but, you know, it is a toy, so, you know, you can't, you got to expect some sort of action feature with these guys. Um, but, you know, uh, that aside, I think it actually looks quite good. Um, the sculpting on it is quite nice, uh, you know, the way that they did uh, the, the skeletal aspects of it, the ridge around the eye and the ear, all look very nice. Uh, the eye is nicely done. It has a pretty decent amount of personality to it, in my view. Um, one thing that, you know, kind of makes this a little bit unsightly is uh, the fact that this nose piece is sculpted separately. I'm not sure why they did that. Um, as far as the plastic goes, I guess it feels a little bit softer, somewhat. It's barely noticeable, though, so it's kind of questionable as to why they took that approach. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that does look a little bit strange. I don't think it makes or breaks the toy, but, you know, it would have looked a lot better without that. Um, also, the teeth are pretty nice. Uh, it looks like the gums kind of, you know, go up and cover parts of the, the teeth. Uh, inside of the mouth, there is a little bit of detail on the roof of the mouth. Uh, the tongue is also nicely sculpted. Uh, not a whole lot in the very front of the mouth, though. Um, but the head certainly looks quite good. I think that's, you know, one of the uh, one of the more positive aspects of this figure. I also really like the coloring. I like the nice uh, earth tone brown. Um, the coloring is, uh, you know, a little bit deeper, maybe on the top, and then kind of gets a little bit lighter on the bottom and you know it's a pretty gradual change they did a really nice job of blending the color differences um, the stripes are also quite nice on the head I do wish that they would have carried them through all the way down um, you know it's kind of a bummer that they didn't but uh, that's the that's the way they did it um, and uh, again the sculpt and the physique of the figure proportionately speaking are very nice uh, the tail looks quite nice it's a little bit flexible at the tip but it doesn't you can't pose it it just kind of a little bit. Um, you know, nice uh, detailing, some scales and uh, wrinkles and lines and stuff. Um, the legs are, are quite nice and muscular looking. Um, the sculpting on the legs is actually a little bit more noticeable than on the body, so you know, that kind of throws it off just a little bit, but it, it's not terrible. Um, the legs do look, you know, quite good as they are. The feet, you know, are pretty nice looking. Though, um, you know, you can obviously tell that they added a little bit extra uh, on the left foot so that she could stand. Because, uh, you know, that, that does look a little bit unnatural. Um, but, uh, you know, other than that, it's it's nice. The, the toes or claws are nice and, you know, deep black color. The arms are very, very tiny. And, uh, you know, not a whole lot to see there. The claws aren't painted. It would have been nice if they would have painted those. Um, but, you know, on the whole, it looks pretty good, and you do get some arm articulation, so you can move those, the legs, civil as well, on both sides. Now, for the action feature, you will notice that there is the button here on the back of the dinosaur. What you're going to do is simply press that button, and she opens her mouth. And that's why this is called a chomping. T-Rex. It works quite nice. Um, one thing that you will notice, and this has to be deliberate because they're all like this, is if you look inside the mouth, um, it kind of comes down and back up at an angle. It's not like straight down and straight back up. The way that they did the jaw, and you can even see it inside in the mechanism there, is it's kind of angled. I'm not sure why Hasbro chose to do that. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that her head's kind of cocked a little bit over to her left, but um, it's a little bit unusual. I don't think it like greatly detracts from the figure all that much, but it does kind of make it seem like her jaw is dislocated. And again, they're all like this, um, but you know, uh, the main thing I would say is with the action feature, be sure you test it out in the store. Make sure you, you get one with a very nice spring, because some of them you open it and when you let go, the mouth kind of just gets stuck. It kind of hangs there. So be sure and test out your T-Rex before you leave the store. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Jurassic World Chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. All in all, I must say that I am actually quite pleased with the figure, uh, certainly more so than I expected to be. 
I think Hasbro did a really nice job with the sculpt on it. The detail on it is pretty good. It's not amazing, but it, you know, it's pretty decent. Um, the sculpt work on the head, I think in particular, is very nice looking. The paint work on the figure is pretty nice. I like the nice uh, subtlety to the blending that they did, uh, you know, making it darker on top and a little bit lighter on bottom. You know, they did a really nice job blending that, and I think that that's really good. The paint on the head's quite nice. I do wish they would have uh, carried out the striping all the way through the back of the body, uh, down to the tail. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't meant to be. Uh, the chomping jaw works quite nice. It is a little bit unusual how it goes down and up at an angle, but it does seem to work quite well. And it actually stands very, very well, and the fact that there are no screw holes visible is a huge plus to me. Um, all in all, I am quite happy with this figure. I think for $16, uh, which is what I paid for it through Walmart, uh, is a really good deal. I think this is certainly worth it. I think the physique and overall look of it is quite natural and quite good. And as such, if you are collecting the Jurassic World dinosaurs, I think it is a good one to add to your collection. Uh, there's still the Stomp and Strike Tyrannosaurus that is coming out later this fall, so I am eager to get my hands on that once it comes out. Um, it's kind of up in the air right now as to which one's going to be a better dinosaur figure. That one is going to be larger and have electronic sounds. Um, but I am happy with this one. I, I think it's a really nice effort by Hasbro, and uh, I am quite pleased to have it in my collection. All right, you guys, so stay tuned because we do have our look at the 1993 Jurassic Park dinosaurs that I own uh, coming up beginning tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, 